morning everybody I'm within 11 miles of uh, the peak of Mount Katahdin I'm cruising along here um, this is Saturday morning uh, about 8 30 and uh, we camped last night at the Abel Bridge campground had a meal there at the restaurant and uh, had breakfast this morning there as well. And then you have to come through, uh, you have to walk about a half a mile up from where the restaurant is and on the trail. You pass through where a Ridge Runner is stationed and you sign in for a spot at the Birches. Uh, Go was the first person to sign in, I was the second, Dave was third. So we all three got the top three spots at the Birches. And uh, so we have to, uh, we're hiking in 10 miles this morning. And then we have to stay at the Birches camp spot, which is, uh, best I understand, is set up for through hikers. And uh, we'll stay there tonight. And then tomorrow, We'll summit Katahdin. And, uh, whew, that feels good. I guarantee you, happy to be here. Been a long journey. We're passing by a huge river there. I don't know if you can see it in the distance, but been beautiful. Been walking along beside it here for quite a while this morning. And, uh, Beautiful hike. It's much easier trails this morning. Still got some roots, but uh, definitely got much easier, much easier paths than what we've been accustomed to. And uh, but it uh, feels good, like I said, to be this close. Uh, wow. I don't know what to say. Can't believe I've done it.
84.5. We're at uh, what they call the Birches, and uh, me and I think there's about five other hikers here with me right now. There may be some more rolling in in a little while, but uh, we all got we all six got here uh, earlier today. And we had lunch and just been hanging out here. Going to have some supper in a little while. I see they got them a fire built over there. That's awesome. I was hoping somebody would do that. And uh, get this on. But uh, get to all this on video and just take in this last day. So uh, what's your trail name? Scar. And how'd you get your trail name? Well, I busted my head about mile three on the trail. And the kids called me Scar, so I thought it could have been something worse, so I just kept it. Yep. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get out here for a yeah. name. So, yep. so uh, you hiked the whole AT, and uh, you started in Georgia. What day did you start? March 9th. March 9th. Came all this way, and tomorrow will be our last day. All of us is going to summit for Titan in the morning. Yes, sir. And uh, how do you feel about that so far? I'm just glad it's over. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> Wonderful right. adventure. Saw a lot and uh, enjoyed myself, but it's time to get back home Absolutely. and see my grandkids. What did you like most about this thing? Just uh, the beauty of the country. Uh, I didn't realize that there was this many mountains on the East Coast, and mm. it was uh, beautiful. Yep. All right, well, thank you very much. Yep. See you on the trail tomorrow. All righty. Okay, what's your trail name? Minnie Mouse. And how'd you get your trail name? I have a Disney blanket in my tent. Okay, so you've carried it all the way? I have it all the way, yes. How about that? So uh, you started in Georgia at Amicalola Falls. Yes. Uh, Come all the way, and uh, what day did you start? March 19th. March 19th. You've moved on, been I fast. Have. And uh, so how do you feel at this point, knowing tomorrow's the last one? Um, it really, I don't think it's really hit me yet. You know, last night in the tent. So, last full day of hiking today. Yeah. Really, You're on the on the trail. Tomorrow yeah. we'll do some climbing and, it's and back sweet. down. But what have you liked most about the trip? I think uh, meeting all the people. They've all everybody's been very generous and kind, and we all have the trail in common, even though we're all very different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, what's your trail name? Bunyan. And how'd you get that? Yeah, uh, gave it to me back a while ago. And uh, on the trail, I'm a. When I'm not hiking, I'm a logger. So it's like Paul Bunyan. I oh, work, okay. I work in the woods. Wow. So, uh, when, did you start in? Georgia do the whole trail? No, I started in New Jersey. I live right along the trail in New Jersey. Yeah. But I've hiked the trail several times. Really? And uh, so I've been out for like, two and a half, three months. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, so uh, what do you like most about getting out here on the trail? I like the fresh air. I like the community. Uh, I like the exercise. Yeah. We'll definitely get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a workout sometimes. But, yeah. All right. You have any plans to do any other long distance trails? I have done the PCT and okay. uh, probably the CDT one of these days. Wow. That's um, awesome, man. It's kind of, I've, you guys sitting here, you're finishing up your first long distance hike. It, be careful because it can be addictive. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> You get one, you get home a month or two, and you think about doing something more. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, I've already got some orders. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, uh, have to. I may have to finagle that around the world. Somebody can go with me. Yeah, I have to work around it. So, uh, but there's time. All right, man. Thank All you right. very much. Nice meeting you. Hey, what's your trail name? Not Solo. And uh, how'd you get your trail name? Oh, I got the, the, the trail name when I, I did the Under Mile Wilderness two years ago as a section. And originally it was Solo because I was all my, by myself. And then when I start the, this trail this year, 
Uh, I hiked for a thousand miles with the same guy, so it ended up not solo. Okay. And so you started in Georgia this year and uh, came to Maine. Yeah, in Georgia time. on uh, April 4th. Yep, April 4th, boy, you moved on. On the average, I would say, five months. Wow. So um, what do you lo like most about the hike? Uh, I would say the people. People uh, at the shelter, people at the hostel, uh, being in town uh, with those people that you, sh you connect with. Yeah. That's pretty much what I... And uh, now we're at our last day, or tomorrow's our last day on the trail. We'll, we'll all 12 of us at Summit Katahdin tomorrow. How do you feel? Accomplished. <laughs> yeah, and I did what I have to do, uh, and I'm really happy. I feel accomplished. Okay. Thank you very much. So you Welcome. What's your trail name? Summer Breeze. Summer Breeze. How did you get that name? Um, there's no specific story. The group of guys I was with just decided it fit my personality. Okay. Well, it was the Summer Breeze. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you started in Georgia yep. this year. What time did you start? Uh, I started May 1st. May 1st. Wow. You <laughs> <laughs> so exactly how many, how much is that? May, June, July, August? Four, Four months. months. Yeah. Wow. Yep. And you did the whole trail? Yep. <laughs> I did it all. Wow. I didn't skip it. <laughs> wow. That is awesome. Thanks. That's, um, well, how do you feel? How do you feel um, physically? Visit, well, my feet hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Maine is sort of a disaster for wow. your feet, all the roots. Um, but... No, I feel good. Um, yeah. I'm hoping, you know, when I get back home to, you know, still stay like this active, if only so that I can continue eating 3,000 calories a day. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, so how do you feel today, knowing tomorrow is the day you summit Katahdin? Mixed feelings. I'm excited to summit and excited for some parts of the trip to be over, but I know I'm going to miss it a lot and, you know, pretty sad that it's coming to an end. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite uh, thing you can remember on the trail? Um, as many people have said, just meeting all the people and, you know, hanging out with people at shelters and in towns and knowing that, you know, at the end of the day, there's going to be, you know, other people around to commiserate with and laugh with. And it's been a good time. All right. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> so, yep, sure. And what's your trail name? Long Walk. Long walk. How'd you get your trail name? It's uh, related to the fundraiser I'm doing. We're calling it the Long Walk Home for a homeless shelter in my community, okay. Easton, Maryland. All right. And uh, did you do the uh, trail from Georgia this year? Or I started you? there. Okay. Um, when I got to Maryland, my home state, I jumped ahead to Bennington, Vermont, mm -hmm. to get out of the heat. So, after I finish here at Katahdin, I'll have to go back to Bennington and go south to Maryland. Okay. So you're going to go back and do that little... Still got a good chunk of miles yeah, to do. Right in there. So, uh, what do you like most about being out on the trail? The people. Okay. Definitely the highlight. All right. So, uh, Including so meeting you. And how do you uh, feel about uh, summiting Katahdin tomorrow? Looking forward to that? I am um, excited about it. Uh, walking through the wilderness, thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, I wished I was like ending it for good, but knowing I have to go back and do more, um, it's still good. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, you know, you'll have this tougher part over with. And yes. It be, be easy to go. Well, the whites was definitely a highlight for me as far as the scenery. The variety of the trail is great. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Take you up the trail. All right. Okay, good morning, folks. It's 5.08 a.m. 
Me and Dave, just Dave's packed and ready. J2 has already hit the trail, not solo. He hit the trail at 4 a.m. this morning, headed up to Titan. And uh, Go, he's about 30 minutes ahead of us. So uh, we're hitting the trail, 5.08 a.m. We're crossing the bridge here, here, going up the hunt trail. We're crossing the bridge, folks. We're fixing to hit the trail. We got to have them use headlamps this morning. Starting out. We're going to get an early start. Yes, we can, we can go because if we can go this way. We, we actually walked in yesterday a little ways, so we can, we're going to cut across this grassy part this morning. And uh, it's very cool. I don't know, I'd say it's definitely down in the 40s. And uh, very cool morning. And uh, I know when we get moving, I'll warm up pretty quick. But uh, brought some base layers with me just in case. Folks, I'll see you as the daylight comes up. We'll, we'll do a little more pictures and video. Okay, we're at 20, mile 21, 86.7. And just Dave and J2 is getting their last water before we continue the summit of Katahdin. How's it feel to be in the last day, buddy? Woohoo! Yeah. Man. No more filtering water. <laughs> this is your last water filtering. No, no. more filtering water, no more... <laughs> Resupplies. <laughs> no more carrying a stinky backpack. No more stinky socks. <laughs> not to mention other things. And I don't have to walk in the rain no more. <laughs> or wear wet clothes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Or but, eat bird seed for three meals a day. <laughs> but the best thing is being able to see my wife and family again. That's that's the best thing. All right. Hallelujah. Okay, folks, I'm about 2.3 miles from the summit of Mount Katahdin. We're headed up. Uh, been a slow, slow go the last little bit. A lot of boulders tightened up. We're doing a lot of climbing. Got Dave up there. Okay, look at him. J2's behind me. <coughs> We headed up, folks. We're going to get there. <laughs> I guarantee you, look at the view of the mountain over there. I don't know if that's the one we're going on. I ain't really got them figured out yet exactly how to lay right here. But, uh, I think it's a little bit more to the right of that. But... We'll soon be able to see it. But I just want you to look at what we're climbing up. Folks, you don't see this every day. And uh, everybody that uh, saw some of these videos probably hadn't been able to, uh, or did these videos, hadn't been able to get this on video. It's so hard to do this and, and climb and move through it. But just want you to see a little bit of it. We're not just walking trails. Uh, we haven't just been walking trails for 2,000 miles. Uh, you, you climb. A lot of R&R. A lot of R&R. 
Yes, sir. The views are getting better the higher we get. about somewhere around 2.2, 2.3 miles uh, from the summit and uh, you can see this awesome view right here and I'm sure it's going to get better as we get the, more to the top. as we climb man I think we've got two miles to go. Okay, everybody, we just came up that ridge line right there. We're still on it, but uh, that's what we worked our way up over, and uh, we're headed on up. I'll show you where we're headed. Just a second, we can check out these views. Absolutely awesome, uh, amazing, and. Uh, I don't know if you can see him there or not, but he goes in front of us a little ways. Me and just Dave here, and J2's behind us. Folks. Everybody right there is that ridge line we just came up just a little while ago. And I just want to show you, I'm going to put my finger right there on that point. If you can make it out, J2 is just now, he's coming over that point right there. So that shows you exactly where we walked at, right on that point. You can barely make it out. You can see the movement.
Folks, that ain't easy. Okay, everybody. We're 1.6 miles from the summit of Katahdin. We've been climbing through boulders for quite a while. And, uh, just hit this flat spot. So as you can see, uh, we're actually walking on flat right now, kind of. And uh, it don't look very flat. picked up it's definitely cool up here uh, I would think that the wind chills may be down in the 30s right now what about you Dave? it's pretty cool uh, we've definitely worked up a little heat it's climbing but uh, so that's all that's keeping us warm right now uh, I think the temperature is probably in the 40s and we got Wind, so pretty sure that the wind chills will be in the 30s. Okay, everybody, we're within our last mile, got a little less than a mile to go to, to the summit. I'm glad to be here, enjoying it. It's been a wild morning, I guarantee you. A lot of rock scrambling, a lot of climbing, but it's been good. I'll see you at the top, folks. Congratulations, man. Man. <laughs> it feels good. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All the way from Georgia. <laughs> That's great. On top of the world up here. Hey man, you ain't there yet. <laughs> now you are. Huh? Where did you do? What did you just do, man? Oh man, I made it. <laughs> Folks. That's a bad climb. He has hiked the whole Appalachian Trail from Georgia to Maine. What you got to say? It's incredible, man. It's I can't believe it. It's like a dream. This is J2 approaching the summit. Okay, I'm not so lost yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I was born in the Bay Area. Oh, okay. Me too. Most of my life, and my mom still lives at Lake Tahoe. Okay, yeah. I grew up like Ski Tahoe. Yeah. I just grew up here in between. Hey, man. What time you get on your Absolutely, ball? man. Huh? What you got to say for it, man? Man, it's a long journey. Absolutely. You're oh, awesome. Hallelujah.
piece no. of view. No, we have to do this hike next to it. Oh Lord. <laughs> I don't want to go back down that trail, I promise you. Once is enough. Hey guys. Let's walk back to Georgia. <laughs> You're not. I tell you what. I tell you what. Me and Gold are gonna get an airplane. We'll not meet a, you there in six months. Not, not enough gold in California for me to walk back to Georgia. <laughs> no, sir. You just come up to Appalachian. Or something? I want a different way home, folks. Yeah. Okay, everybody, I'm at mile 2,189.8, the top of Mount Katahdin. Hey, man, that's the last mile. Okay, folks, we summited Katahdin. You saw the videos, pictures from there. Now we're headed back down the, uh, what they call the A-Ball Trail, A-B-O-L. And uh, we head down somewhere into the flats there. Don't know exactly where. But uh, this is the uh, peak we're coming off of right here going down. We're now following, instead of following a white blaze, we're following a blue blaze trail. And uh, just wanted you to check out the view from here as we start down pretty steep incline. Okay, everybody, this is Crazy Tree, just Dave, and go. Hey, we made it down off of Katahdin, off the mountain. Went to uh, down the A-Ball uh, Trail, and this fella come by just as we hit the parking lot or at the campground right there. He, I stuck my thumb out, and he pulled over instantly, picked us up. Folks, I want to tell you, there is such thing as post-trail magic, and we just got it. This guy picked us up. He's absolutely awesome. 
He's our post trail angel of the day. What can I say? You know, so, I, th I, thought, I thought they might need some help, you know. I saw him hanging out there. I thought there might be some through hiker which is waiting there and sure enough right, right there hey man do you have a trail name i do not know he don't but he's out here to hike the trails and he's actually going to hike katahdin tomorrow folks looking forward and, to it uh, i hope he has as good a view as we did absolutely thank you very much of course see you out on the trail